A blue sky and warm sunshine combined with a long safe beach with gold coloured sand. It is no wonder that Weymouth is one of the most popular seaside resorts on England's south coast, enhanced to the east by white cliffs which form part of the Jurassic Coast Trail. There are many attractions to be found in the town. The most recent and exciting for me is the Weymouth Tower. It is over 50 metres high. From it one has excellent 360 degree views of the town, the harbour, the bay and the Dorset countryside. After the gentle ascent, the capsule turns slowly for two revolutions, thus giving the passengers ample time to enjoy the ever-changing views and, of course, to take their pictures. Back down to terra firma once more after that most enjoyable experience. Now it's time to stroll around the busy harbour area. So much to see here. River craft of many types, all shapes, sizes and costs. Not far from here one can book the Condor Ferry for a speedy trip to Guernsey or Jersey. For those, and as you can see there are many, who like to mess about on the river, this would appear to be the ideal location. With its great seafaring and boating tradition, it comes as no surprise to learn that the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic sailing events were held here, and with great success for our own medal winning UK competitors. Time now for my annual cruise, and no passport is required here. There are two such ferries operating today, taking advantage of the sun and the many visitors. Yeah. At only one pound per head, business is brisk. Sometimes there are as many as eight passengers per crossing. To the beach and Esplanade now to see what's happening there. But first, the clock tower attracts attention. We note it has been standing there for over 120 years and is very well maintained. It is a fine tribute to the lasting memory of Queen Victoria. This speedy land train runs from the tower to the Sea Life Adventure Park. Anyone from Madame Zara? Well, maybe next time. The beach with its soft warm sand is proving to be very popular with holiday makers today while some enjoy a paddle and a splash. Others are more intent on a swim. But for those perhaps with the cash and the energy, there is the pleasure of being the captain of your own pedalo on the ocean blue. While the senior service keeps a watchful eye on proceedings. It is said that tide and tide await no man, even at Weymouth. So, as the afternoon draws on, the first signs of packing up have already begun. My coach awaits. Soon we will be homeward bound. But I'll be back. 